Hello again, just a quick one. Um, yesterday I did a video with Richard and Mr. Pigeon. This is the um, the coffin smoother that came out of the garage in Devon um, from Aaron Watts, and um, it's um, it was um, probably been sitting around for a while. Flattened it off. Did an article on it. Said I'd come back and do a quick video. Um, Oh, incidentally, just for Toby, somewhere around here, I did a load of um, work on um, U. But I can't find a piece of U big enough to fit in this vice, and without getting all the other stuff out, um, I will do another one. But um, just to give you a rough idea, anyway, this is um, this has just been tuned up, isn't it? I haven't cleaned it, um, I've just flattened the sole, and um, all I've done is um, taken the iron out. And I flattened the back. Now flattened the back on coarse dire sharp diamond, just the coarse one, and then I put a secondary bevel on it at um, 30 degrees using an Eclipse 36 um, guide. You don't need you don't need to, but I was uh, wanting to make it as good as I possibly could. The 36 guide is cheap as chips, 10 quid. Um, you get them everywhere in England, certainly, and there's an equivalent Stanley, I think. Um, and it just basically allows you to hold it at the right uh, pitch, rather than, and you can roll it if you want, put a camber on it. Um, anyway, this is um, this is what it turned out like. Uh, it's um, a whole lot better than it was yesterday. Obviously, it's a smoother. Um, doesn't have quite as much impetus and control as the um, as Richard, but really fine shavings and uh, look at that. such a bloody good plane. I've got sharp edges on it, and I cut my cut the side of my finger on the on the on the on the edge. Um, you can't really get. A smoother that does that out of the box you probably get a, a Lee Nielsen you probably get a Veritas you'll probably get one of the bespoke planes one of the good ones um, but for one that's um, you know a junkyard really and all it and it's got crack I mean it's got cracks along the front it's got drying out cracks so it needs a little bit of restoration it's but it's crisp see that that's the point it's got it's got very little damage to the mouth now i've taken this off using uh mirka let me get some show you <clears throat> just ordinary i buy it in rolls it comes i think about five or a roll or something stupid um 80 grit and that's that's pretty rough um all you do is get a bit of corian which is your DuPont stuff. I got a friend who gives me some. Um, and it's the stuff they use in bathrooms and kitchens. Um, synthetic marble type stuff. Pretty flat. Um, and it's very good for flattening things out. So that's um, that's all it was really. Just a flat surface, coarse diamond, and your... I mean, I could probably tune this up a little bit better. I haven't honed it. Now, once you hone it, you get it smoother. But I'll tell you what, that's, that will take a finish straight away. So, to cut a long story short, Mr. Pigeon. And after all, a plane is merely a carrier for the iron. That's all it is. And as long as this is tuned up, fine. That's all it does. It's just a carrier to hold the iron. In fact, you could almost say this was a carrier pigeon. That was of Craig. Hope you enjoyed that one, Craig. God, that was awful. Just a quick couple. Gets jammed a bit in the bottom. Quick KT tools, tiddly stick. Twiddly stick in the bottom. It's all that bloody you, Toby. Goes in all directions. It's all stuck. Stuck everywhere, this you. Actually, the surface on the you's come out really smooth as well. Very little tear out, so I was quite impressed even with that. There you go. I'm getting 
some nice wide shavings. That's it for the day. I went to see the doctor to get my post-operation um, checkup. Uh, turned up five minutes early, 4, 4.25. Said to the nurse, I'm here to see the doctor, post-op checkup. She said, yeah, but that's tomorrow, Wednesday. Got to be the opiates. Got to be the opiates. See you all later.